that takes the cake is Ho Hocus and Jay. Welcome to the Hocus Heritage Keepers Project, Episode 2, The Hermitage, History from the American Revolution to Today. As we learned in Episode 1, the history of the Hermitage was shaped by the families who lived there. The last family that lived there for generations in the Hermitage was the Rosencrantz family. In 1807, Dr. Elijah Rosencrantz and his wife Cornelia Suffern purchased the Hermitage. Cornelia was a daughter of a wealthy cotton mill family from the town that bears their name, Suffern, New York. They had four children, John, George, Elijah Jr., and Andrew, who died at two. Even though there were few physicians in Bergen County in the early 19th century, Dr. Rosencrantz didn't make much money as a doctor, so he worked a farm and sawmill. He capitalized on the emerging trends towards industrialization by building a cotton wood mill near the Hohokus Brook in 1828. The mill was located at the western end of Hollywood Avenue. The Industrial Revolution came to Hohokus with this mill, producing cotton yard and sustained the family and provided employment for about 31 local townspeople. The mill was the center of an industrial commune where the mill employees lived in cottages. His boys grew up into adulthood and reached a classical education at home. His oldest son, John, also became a doctor. We learned from letters from Elijah to his son, John, some of his values. He urged him to put sustained efforts into his studies and to read. He also urged him to be honest, just, temperate, and prudent. After Elijah Sr.'s death in 1832, his son Eliza Jr. took over running the mill. He married Cornelia Killy Dayton and lived in the home with their four children, William, John, and Mary Elizabeth, and George. With the wealth generated from the operating mill, they lived in an upper middle class lifestyle. Elijah decided to expand the hermitage. He hired William Ranlett, a well-known architect, to redesign the hermitage. Ranlett felt that this particular style would portray Elijah Rosencrantz as someone with great morals, an adventure, and someone with advanced taste. The Rosencrantz family ran the mill for over 60 years. The American Civil War impacted the cotton transport and prices, so the mills could no longer operate and was closed. It was later torn down in 1916. Further development of the property included heating and plumbing. Elijah's son, William, built a well house that provided water for the Rosencrantz family and for travelers on Franklin Turnpike. The home also had a boiler that forced heat throughout the home and the well provided running water from the creek. These were conveniences that were more modern than the White House at the time. Another interesting person in the Rosencrantz family was Mary Elizabeth, or Bess, the only daughter of Elijah Jr. and Cornelia. Bess was born at the Hermitage in 1855. She was a unique and independent woman who left one of the biggest marks on the historic home. After her mother died, the 12-year-old Bess began to take a more active role in managing the Hermitage household. As a young woman, Bess moved to Philadelphia where she lived with her Uncle John. Though her Uncle John never lived at the Hermitage as an adult, he owned the house, property, and mill. Upon his death in 1885, Bess inherited the Hermitage, as well as the property and a majority of the mill despite the fact that her brothers and father were still alive. When she returned to the Hermitage, Bess helped raise her nephew Dayton and niece Mary Elizabeth, William's children. A remarkably independent woman, Bess traveled frequently, even to Europe, in 1914, attended plays, concerts, and sporting events in Hocus, Ridgewood, Patterson, and New York City, and often visited with friends and family. Most remarkably, she was active in local women's suffrage chapter. By 1915, just Bess and her niece, Mary Elizabeth, remained at the Hermitage. Bess opened her house as a tea room and entertained her guests with stories of the Hermitage's past and the ghosts that remained. This provided income for the family. Bess passed away in 1943 at the age of 88. Her funeral was held at the Hermitage, and the stories Bess told made a deep impression on Mary Elizabeth. After the house passed down from one generation to the next, Mary Elizabeth Rosencrantz, Elijah Jr.'s granddaughter, was the last of the family line to live in the house. After the deaths of her father and brothers, she initially lived there alone with her Aunt Bess and had little means to keep up the house, yet refused to sell it. The home had fallen into serious disrepair. Upon her death in 1970, she bequeathed the house to the state of New Jersey. 
She donated to preserve history and for its use as a museum and park. We owe her our gratitude for being able to visit this amazing historical site. Today, the Hermitage Museum would not be here without the selflessness and forethought of these two women. The Hermitage was designated a National Historic Landmark for the excellence of its architecture and was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1970. In 1971, it was added to the New Jersey Register of Historic Places. The Hermitage maintained by the Friends of the Hermitage, a non-for-profit organization. They give tours to share the house's rich history and hold many different events year-round to fund the ongoing restoration and to keep the past alive. For fun and to support the Hermitage, I encourage you to take a tour and learn more or attend one of the events to keep our own Hilhokas National Treasure preserved for future generations. This concludes the Hermitage history from Revolutionary War to today. I'll close with one fun fact. Eliza Jr.'s son, William, was well-traveled. Upon a return from a business trip to Scotland, he brought home golf clubs and started the Hohokas Golf Club that supported six holes. It was popular, it later merged into the Ridgewood Country Club. His daughter, Mary Elizabeth, was a very accomplished golfer and won several championships. Thanks for listening and keeping history alive. Please check out the entire series of the HHK Heritage Keepers episodes on this channel.